my name is Martin Walker, I'm a visual arts lecturer here at Brady University of Applied Science and I uh, mainly teach the second year visual art track. The visual arts track is hugely um, popular, who doesn't want to make computer graphics for, for um, computer games? I think this, this one um, cinematic they created really, it's the first block in the second year so they've only actually really been here for a year and they, they produced something we, we'd expect to see from fourth year graduates so they, they did an excellent job. Within the visual arts track we teach the students um, pretty much everything, the fundamentals of art theory, colour theory, lighting, composition, along with more technical aspects, computer graphics, um, texturing, UVing, procedural modelling, animation, rigging, the whole, the whole broad spectrum of what it is, what it takes to be a computer graphics artist in the game industry. It's their first um, group assignment in the second year of the visual arts track. So in the first year they um, concentrate on the fundamentals and in the second year they have to really delve into, the, um, into working in teams, into research. Working in teams is totally different from year one. You start to interact with your peers around you, with the other students. It really starts to become more about you as a group instead of you only as an individual. If you have a lot of different views, you get a lot more perspectives and you can think of uh, areas or sites you didn't think of before. When you're with different people who also like art but they specialize in different things, you can actually learn from each other and it only makes you uh, a better of an artist. I think kind of the trick to art leading such a team is to really get to know what everyone's most comfortable with. I never really have problems with giving critique. I think as a lead you kind of need have a, have a strong opinion, you know? It's actually really, really helpful as a leader because he's a really good artist and he always knows about any program, how it works and he can explain it to us. For this project we wanted to really search into the theme of the Roaring Twenties, so um, we wanted to look at architecture, um, socio-economic um, situations, fashion, characters um, and then we, re then we allow the students to really research and delve deep into the project. The pre-production phase included a lot more research than we had in year one and that gave us a lot more space to fail and to grow from. Yeah, it, we also watched a movie together from the 1920s about aviation. That was like kind of team building. Yeah, and I know that our art lead had to do a lot of research into like how buildings were built back then because that's really hard to find because we had a lot of like destroyed walls in our scene so that we all had to need like figure that out, how that was built. There's always crunch time in the art projects that I've had until now. It's just something we do. At the end of the vlog we had two all-nighters, one after another. We just died, but yeah. it was actually really fun. It was a little bit chaotic, but in general it's been one of the most learnful as well because they also taught me a lot during the vlog and all in all it was just a really great pleasure to make it. And to be able to see that after we all crunch together is great, but it's really tiring, knocks you out for a week after, but it's great. <laughs> if you have so much passion for such a project, it just goes naturally, you know? So some of the companies our students end up are Gorilla, Ubisoft, um, EA, Ghost, Double Negative and Grid VFX. I think the, the whole project was down to just some really great teamwork. There, yeah, there was a, a real mix of characters on the team. They got on really well. You could, you could see them not just bonding well in the lab, but also they socialised. And I think they just had this, the, the magic chemistry that ends up with, with a really great product. 